we're asked to subtract negative 2x squared plus 4x minus 1 from 6x squared plus 3x minus 9. And like always, I encourage you to pause the video and see if you can give it a go. All right, now let's work through this together. So I could rewrite this as 6x squared plus 3x minus 9 minus, minus, this expression right over here. So I'll put that in parentheses. Minus negative 2x squared, negative 2x squared plus 4x minus 1. Now what can we do from here? Well, we can distribute this negative sign. We can distribute this negative sign. And then if we did that, we would get the 6x squared plus 3x minus 9 won't change. So we still have that. 6x squared plus 3x minus 9. But then if I distribute the negative sign, the negative of negative 2x squared is positive 2x squared. So that's going to be positive 2, good, give a little more space, positive 2x squared. And then subtract, and then the negative of positive 4x is, I'm going to subtract 4x now. And then the negative of negative 1, or the opposite of negative 1, is going to be positive 1. So I've just distributed the negative sign. And now I can add terms that have the same degree uh, on our x, uh, the same degree terms, I guess you could say. So I have an x squared term. Here it's 6x squared. Here I have a 2x squared term. So I can add those two together. 6x squared plus 2x squared. If I have 6x squareds and then I have another 2x squareds, how many x squareds am I now going to have? I'm now going to have 8x squareds. Eight x squareds, or 6x squared plus 2x squared. We add the coefficients, the 6 and the 2, to get 8. 8x eight squared. Then we can, add the, we can add the x terms. You could view these as the first degree terms. 3x, we have 3x, and then we have minus 4x. So 3x minus 4x, if I have 3 of something and I take away 4 of them, I'm, no, I'm now going to have negative 1 of that thing. So, or you could say that the coefficients, 3 minus 4 would be negative 1. So I now have negative 1x. I could write it as negative 1x, but I might as well just write it as negative x. That's the same thing as negative 1x. And then finally, I can deal with our constant terms. I have, I'm subtracting a 9, and then I'm adding a 1. So you could say, well, what's a negative 9 plus 1? Well, that's going to be negative 8. That's going to be negative 8. And we are all done.